Ever wondered why a distance seems to form between fathers and sons during the late teen years? It's a common occurrence, a rift that seems to sneak in, often leaving both parties puzzled. It's crucial to understand the reasons behind this phenomenon, to navigate this tricky terrain with grace. From generational gaps to emotional transitions, the reasons are as diverse as they are complex. So buckle up and get ready for an enlightening journey as we dive into the top 10 reasons why this happens. Reason number 10, independence. Let's delve into this. When a young person enters their late teen years, an inherent desire for independence begins to surface. This natural yearning is part of the journey towards adulthood. It's the time when teens start to carve out their own identity, separate from their parents. They're exploring the world, testing boundaries, and making their own decisions. And while this is a crucial step in their development and self-discovery, it can often create a gap between father and son. The teen's quest for autonomy might be perceived as rebellion or a lack of respect, but it's important to remember this isn't a rejection of parental love or guidance. It's a normal phase of growth. As parents, understanding and supporting their need for independence can help bridge this distance. Because while independence is necessary, it often brings a temporary distance. Coming in at number nine, different interests. As a son enters his teenage years, his interests often start to evolve and change, just as he does. This transformation is a normal part of growing up, but it can sometimes lead to misunderstandings or disagreements between fathers and sons. Maybe the son is more into tech and gadgets while the dad is a sports enthusiast, or perhaps the son has a passion for arts, but the dad is more into practical, hands-on activities. These mismatched interests can create a divide making it harder for fathers and sons to connect on a deeper level. It's not always about having the same hobbies or passions, but about understanding and respecting each other's interests. However, when that understanding is lacking, it can lead to a communication gap. Different interests can sometimes lead to a communication gap. At number eight, we have peer influence. Now let's dive into the intriguing world of peer influence. As teenagers navigate through life, they are constantly influenced by their peers. This influence can sometimes lead to a shift in their attitudes and behavior, which might not always align with their father's outlook or expectations. Imagine the son, influenced by his friends, starts listening to a new genre of music or adopts a different style of dressing. It could be something the father doesn't quite understand or agree with. This divergence in interests might cause a subtle rift between them. It's not necessarily about rebellion, but more about a teenager's need to fit in, to belong. Remember, it's not just negative influences we're talking about. Positive peer influence can also cause a shift in behavior that might confuse or concern a father. It's all about understanding and adapting to these changes. Peer influences can greatly affect the father-son relationship. Reason number seven, the inevitable generation gap. It's no secret that every generation has its own unique set of experiences, values, and ways of thinking. These differences can often lead to a gap of understanding between fathers and sons. Picture this, a father who grew up without the internet and a son who can't imagine a world without it. These contrasting experiences can create a chasm in their shared understanding of the world. In addition, the values that were important to the father's generation might differ significantly from those of his sons, causing a disconnect. This generation gap doesn't just lead to differences in opinion, but can also lead to misunderstanding and distance. In a world that is rapidly changing, bridging this gap can seem like a monumental task. But remember, understanding and patience are key in overcoming these challenges. The generation gap can pose a real challenge in understanding each other. Halfway through our list at number six, emotional transition. The late teen years are not just about physical growth, but also an emotional roller coaster. During this time, teens experience a whirlwind of emotions, from elation to despair, often in the same day. This emotional transition can be confusing and overwhelming. It's not unusual for them to seek solace in their peers who are going through the same experiences, rather than their parents who they may perceive as unable to understand their feelings. The process of establishing their emotional independence can often result in teens seeming more distant. It's important to remember that this is a normal part of their development. 
It's a time of exploration, self-discovery, and establishing their identity. Parents, don't be alarmed. It's not about pushing you away, but more about finding their own footing in the world of emotions. Emotional transitions can make teens seem more distant. Number five on our list, authority struggles. As we journey further into the world of adolescence, we find ourselves in the midst of a battlefield where authority is the prize. It's here, in this struggle for autonomy, that many sons and fathers lock horns. Teenagers, in their quest for independence, often resist authority. This resistance is a natural part of their development, a sign of their growing need for self-rule. But when the authority figure is their father, this resistance can lead to friction and misunderstandings. Fathers, in their role as protectors and guides, may find it difficult to strike a balance between granting freedom and enforcing rules. They may be perceived as overbearing or controlling, further driving a wedge between them and their sons. The struggle for authority is an intricate dance, one that requires understanding and patience from both sides. It's a complex issue, but understanding its roots can help bridge the gap. The struggle for authority is a common cause of distance. Coming in at number four, communication breakdown. Communication, or rather the lack of it, can play a pivotal role in creating distance between a father and son during those tricky late teen years. It's no secret that effective communication is the backbone of any relationship, but it becomes even more essential during this transformative period. When a father and son don't communicate effectively, misunderstandings can easily arise. A son might misinterpret his father's well-intentioned advice as criticism, or a father may misconstrue his son's need for independence as disobedience. These misunderstandings can build up over time, creating a wall of resentment and distance between the two. Moreover, the absence of open, honest dialogue can lead to feelings of alienation and isolation. A son might feel unheard or misunderstood, and a father may feel disconnected from his son's world. To bridge this gap, it's crucial to foster a culture of open and respectful communication. Remember, communication is key in maintaining a healthy relationship. At number three, expectation pressure. Now this is quite a heavy one. Fathers, often unconsciously, can place enormous expectations on their sons. They may desire them to follow a certain career path, excel in academics or sports, or even carry on a family legacy. These expectations, while sometimes well-intentioned, can create an immense pressure that the son has to live up to. This pressure can be overwhelming, causing stress, anxiety, and often a sense of failure if the son feels he cannot meet these lofty expectations. As a result, a distance can form as the son may feel misunderstood or unaccepted for who he truly is, rather than the idealized version his father envisions. It's essential to remember that each individual is unique with their own strengths, interests, and dreams. Encouraging them to pursue their own path, rather than a predetermined one, can foster a healthier, more understanding relationship. The weight of expectations can sometimes be too much to bear. Just missing the top spot at number two, changes in family dynamics. Now let's delve into how family dynamics can play a major role in the space that develops between a father and his son during the latter's late teens. Family as we know it, is an ever-evolving entity. Changes such as divorce, remarriage, or the arrival of a new sibling can dramatically shift the dynamics within a family. This can inadvertently cause a strain on the father-son bond. For instance, a son might feel sidelined when a new sibling arrives, or he might struggle to adjust to a new parental figure in the case of remarriage. Moreover, the father, while navigating these changes himself, might unintentionally neglect his relationship with his son. It's a two-way street, really. Both parties are dealing with new circumstances, and that can often lead to an emotional distance. Family changes can greatly influence the father-son relationship, so it's crucial to navigate these changes with sensitivity and open communication. And the number one reason, lack of understanding. This, dear listeners, is the often overlooked yet most impactful reason why a chasm might form between a father and son during the latter's teenage years. Lack of understanding and empathy can lead to a gaping void. When fathers struggle to comprehend the whirlwind of changes their sons are experiencing, it can result in a disconnect. 
It's not just about understanding the changes, though. It's about empathizing with the emotional turmoil that these changes can bring. The teenage years are a roller coaster ride, and it's important for fathers to remember their own journey through this tumultuous time. Imagine a bridge. Understanding is the foundation, while empathy is the structure that holds it together. Without these two elements, the bridge collapses, creating a gap between the two ends. So let's remember, fathers and sons are not just family, they're fellow travelers on life's journey. Understanding and empathy are crucial in bridging the gap. So, there we have it. The top 10 reasons why a distance forms between fathers and sons during the late teen years. From the quest for independence, unique interests and peer influence, to the generation gap, emotional transition, authority struggles, and communication breakdown. Not forgetting the pressure of expectations, changes in family dynamics, and most significantly, a lack of understanding. It's crucial to remember that these are common issues, not insurmountable ones. Remember, understanding these reasons is the first step towards bridging the gap.